Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvi and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Today we will discuss solving routine and non-routine problems involving factors, multiples, and divisibility rules for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Here are the steps in solving routine problems. So the first step is to understand the problem by providing what is asked in the problem and what are the given facts. Then second step, we're going to plan what is the operation to be used and what is the number sentence. The third step is solve for the solution to the problem. And the last step is check and look back wherein you're going to write your final answer. Before we proceed to solving problems or routine problems, let us first understand these words. So what do you mean by factor? Factor are what we can multiply to get the number. Examples. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So 4 and 3 are factors of 12. 7 times 5 is 35. So 7 and 5 are factors of 35. So, ito yung dalawang number na pinag-multiply natin to get the product. So, the, num the factor are the two numbers that we multiply to get another number. How about multiple? These are what we can get after multiplying the number by another number. Examples, 5 times 1 is equal to 5. So, 5 is a multiple of 5. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. So, 10 is a multiple of 5. And so, therefore, 5, 20, 25, and so on are multiples of 5. So, ito yung kalimitan natin nakikita sa multiplication table. And also, kapag tayo ay nag-skip counting. So, those are multiples. Since we already know the step, we can now proceed in solving this problem. So, the problem is, a farmer gathered 108 mangoes. If he will distribute those 108 mangoes in the baskets, how many ways can he distribute when each basket has the same number of mangoes? So let us try to find the answer by solving the problem using the four steps rule. First step is to understand the problem. So, what is asked in the problem? In how many ways can he distribute when each basket has the same number of mangoes? Then, the given facts are 108 mangoes. Each basket has the same number of mangoes. Plan for the operation to be used. So, we are going to use factoring, finding the multiples, and using the divisibility rules to solve the problem. Okay, so let us solve the problem using factoring. So the number is 108. So what are the two numbers that when we multiply will be resulted to 108? So these are the factors of 108. 54 times 2, 36 times 3, 27 times 4, 18 times 6, 12 times 9, 2 times 54, 3 times 36, 4 times 27, 6 times 18, and 9 times 12. So kung papansin niyo, yung factors na 54 times 2 and 2 times 54, pinagbaliktad, pinagbaliktad lang siya. So yun yung commutative property ng multiplication. Kahit balikta rin natin yung dalawang factors, we will still arrive at the same answer. So, how many factors are there in 108? So, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, there are 10 factors in 108. So, let us solve the problem using multiples. 108 is a multiple of 2. Again, paano natin makukuha 
ang multiples. So, i-multiply natin yung number sa counting numbers. So, yung 2 times 1, 2, 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 3, 6. Hanggang sa ma-reach natin yung number na pag pinag-multiply natin ay makakuha tayo ng 108. Then, multiples din ang, ang 108 ng 3. Multiple din siya ng 4, ng 6, ng 9, ng 12, 18, 27, 36, and 54. So, ibig sabihin, yung 108 ay multiple siya ng 10 numbers. Ito, yung 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 27, 36, and 54. Okay, lastly, let us solve the problem using the divisibility rule. So, let us try to find or to test the divisibility rule for 108. So, again, it is divisible by 2 kasi siya ay isang even number. It ends in 8. Divisible siya ng 3 dahil ang 8, 0, and 1. Pag in natin yung mga digits ng 108, will give us an answer of 9. And 9 is divisible by 3. Therefore, it is divisible by 3. Divisible siya by 4 kasi yung last two digits niya ay divisible by 4. Divisible siya by 6 dahil siya ay divisible both by 2 and 3. Divisible ang 108 by 9 dahil pag in natin yung mga digits niya, will give us an answer of 9 and 9 divided by 9 is 1. Therefore, 108 is divisible by 9. Divisible by 12 dahil siya ay divisible by 4 and by 3. Okay, so divisible din siya by, one, by 18, by 27, by 36, and by 54. So, ang gagawin nyo na lang dito sa the rest na natitirang number is true trial and error to find if it, if the number is divisible by 108. Kapag nagbigay ang kapag nagdivide kayo at wala namang sobra or excess, it is divisible by that number. Last step, we're going to write our answer. So we have 10 ways or there are 10 ways the farmer can distribute 100 mangoes when each basket has the same number of mangoes. Let's now proceed in solving non-looking problems. Again, ang non-looking problems is more complex or are more complex than looking problems. Kasi ang looking problems, sinosolve natin siya using the four-step rule. At ang non-looking problems, we can solve this by drawing a picture, using a number line, making a table, and other things. So let's solve this non-routine problem. I am a 4-digit number who is divisible by 2, 3, 4, and 6. If you subtract the last digit from the first digit, the result is 6. What number am I? Okay, so let's try to solve the problem using this method.
anong pwede nating ipares dito sa 2 para maging divisible siya by 4. Okay, so 1, which is 12, and 12 is divisible by 4. Therefore, ang number na ito ay divisible ng, ng 2 at divisible ng, ng 4. Okay, next, dapat daw divisible siya by 3. So, ano yung rule natin para malaman na divisible ang number by 3? I-add natin yung mga digits niya at yung sum dapat ng digit na yon ay divisible by 3. So, ito yung natin i-add. 8 plus 1 is 9 plus 2 is 11. So, isip ka ngayon ng number na pwede nating ilagay dito sa nawawalang digit para maging divisible siya by 3. So, pwedeng, since 11 na to, pwedeng 1 para maging 12. Kasi ang 12 ay divisible by, by 3. Pwede ring 11, pwede ring 4. Diba? Dahil ang 11 plus 4 is 15, and 15 is divisible by 3. So, ibig sabihin, maraming possible answers dito sa problem na to. Hindi lang isa ang sagot. So, ito yung mga possible answers para sa problem na ito. So, meron tayong 8,232, 8,052, 8,352, and 8,172. Pwede rin 8,892. And lastly, 8,592. So, ito yung mga possible answers sa problem na ito. So, tatandaan, ang nangitin problem, hindi lang may times na hindi lang isang hinihingi ng sagot. Maraming possible answers. So, that is how we do non-repeat problem. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much!